talking to my parents and talking to my family and all my friends. At the end of the day, I decided to, you know, wanted to go to Holl uh, to Europe in general. And I wanted to bypass college and go straight, you know, professionally at the age of 17. And that's when we decided to, you know, look for a club and FC Utrecht, you know, gave me an opportunity and we, we took it and I'm happy there at the moment. And, I'm, you know, I know the club is happy and I'm happy and I'm, you know, geared up for, for what's to come for sure in the future. I think the players were much more, you know, better with the ball and had more, much more confidence. And I think going to Holland was a you know different uh, style than American football, and um, I had to really get used to it. You know they play a lot of uh, on the ground and they look for feet, and Americans do as well. But it was something much more different, and uh, it's something it was something I got had to get used to as well as the language. At the age of three, you know my dad got me a ball, and my dad had played soccer as well when he was younger, and I grew up watching the Mexican league. I mean I used to watch like Omar Bravo, Javier, Javier Chicharito Hernandez, guys that you know I look up to, and. Um, yeah, it was, that's when I decided, you know, I wanted to be a, a footballer, you know, that experience. And I love the ball so much, so not qualifying for the U-17 World Cup was definitely, you know, I guess a failure, but also a great an experience for sure now. And um, now gearing up with the U-20s, we for sure don't want to experience that again because being in that locker room with all those players and, you know, just being with my teammates, it was tough. It was tough to lose against Honduras. But now with the U-20s, I think this is not another opportunity, and I think, you know, we're for sure don't want to go through that again, so we're gonna be geared up and ready to take on the opponents. It was that was such an emotional game, just because. Uh, I mean, for me, it was emotional game because my parents were here, so it was a big game. You know, winning going up 2-0 and then you know making them leading them to come back in the last minute was tough. But I think when Tab Ramos took us in, I think he his words really motivated everyone to you know look forward and to actually like you know go for the win. And everyone was, you know, fired up and ready, and we got the win, and it was, it was pretty amazing, you know. You know, the experience for sure, wearing the crest, is always the best feeling. And training every day. I mean, we didn't train much, but I mean, we played. We had five matches, so it was more about the matches and having the experience to play in those matches and being able to play against, you know, top teams in the world is always beneficial. And now looking forward to the future, we have seven months, seven months to gear up for. You know qualifiers and that's our you know main focus right now.